Hi everyone, this is CR Freeze, the Freeze That Pays, and I'm back today with another video. Uh, first of all, I want you guys to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, um, today um, I'm sitting here all wrapped up, um, but I was in my last video all wrapped up, so to speak, and I'm going to get into why in just a few. Um, first and foremost today, I want to thank everybody for watching, and today I want to talk about the word can't. Um, I've been going through that a lot lately. Like I said, I've been sitting here wrapped up and I've been using the word can't on myself, C-A-N apostrophe T. And this is because I just don't, um, you know, I haven't been feeling myself lately. You know, I, I've never been the most self-esteemish, you know, person in the world, um, you know, or whatever the case may be. But I want to talk about the word can't. It's just been in my brain, you know. It's been sitting with me at work, at home. Um, you know, some of it's because of um, I deal with, a, you know, a skin disorder here. I have something called acne or, you know, I break out frequently. And that's a part of it, you know. And I just think that I can't be the best that I could be. Um, I went to work. And, you know, my boss had to pull me to the side and he had to question my performance. He was like, what's up with your performance? Why are you performing this way? You know, what's, you know, what's going on? And I put the word can't. I was like, boss, man, you know, I don't think I can do it. I can't, you know, I, you know, I can't get a hundred on, on that little call or whatever the case may be. Because I work at a call center besides singing and doing vocals. Uh, and then he said, you need to put can't outside of your vocabulary. Put that word out right now. And he told me that cultures and certain cultures around the world, that they don't even have that in their vocabulary because it automatically hinders one. I did my research or whatever the case may be afterwards to see which cultures didn't happen, but I didn't find anything. I'm going to try to do some more research later on. But I want to encourage everyone to take that word out of their vocabulary. I can't be beautiful. I can't look sexy. I can't be the best that I could be. I can't live up to someone else's expectations. Uh, why are you trying to live up somebody else's expectations? But I don't know. But take that word out of your vocabulary. You know, I can't graduate high school. I can't, I can't be anything and I won't be anything. Think about those cultures out there who don't even have that word, you know? And just wonder, um, about their self-esteem and their confidence and, and, and how it may differ from an American's because our culture, Americans, we use that. You know, it's, it's right in our dictionary. It's the opposite of can. But remember, some places don't have that, have that word. So think about it as anytime you're feeling down, look at it as you from somewhere else. You know, from another country, another place in the world, and just say, I can. No such thing as I can't, okay? Um, like I said, I've been feeling down lately. I don't think I've been, you know, myself. I don't think I've been performing to the best of my abilities. I haven't been getting up because that word can't has been in my mind. But I'm trying to rid it now. And I'm trying to be the best that I could be. And I want to encourage you to be the best that you could be too. Thank you so much. My name is CR Phrase. I'm the phrase that pays. And I just want y'all to like, subscribe, share, and look at some of my music. Listen to some of my music. Thank you so much. Signing off.